in Pakistan, we have uh, 25 million uh, workers who are either daily wages or get paid weekly or are self-employed. So when we lock down and lock down like the whole of the world to stop the spread of the virus, all these people became unemployed. And when you were talking about 25 million workers, you're talking about 25 million families. And actually it has affected around about almost 120, 150 million people. And these 120 and 50 million people face stark poverty. Unless they work, they cannot feed their families. We have started to uh, open up our businesses, uh, uh, construction industry, uh, so that people can find employment because there's no way the government can uh, uh, give handouts to so many people. And because of this huge numbers of the informal economy, the only way we can uh, uh, reach our people is by allowing them to work. So here we face this dilemma. One, we still have a problem of growing cases and we still have to be careful about uh, the spread of the virus. But on the other hand, unless we open up our economy, we, we have millions facing starvation. is not just a challenge for Pakistan. We all know it's a global challenge. We are all connected and the response has to be global. There has to be a, a, a way of picking up countries which are, which are struggling right now, and especially in the developing world. I've spoken to uh, the Ethiopian prime minister, the, uh, the Egyptian president, Nigerian prime minister. All of them are facing similar problems to what we are facing. The biggest problem caused by COVID is our, it's overwhelmed the health facilities, the hospitals. We need that fiscal space now to divert resources towards health and also to environment. Uh, and unfortunately, right now, that space is not there.